consider would be that if you could get the legislators to reduce the, uh, the uh, how much we subsidize coal, coal and, and reduce that by an amount and then give an equal amount to uh, say that bio coal, you know, get, make it, you know, the playing field a little fair, and that that would that would help stimulate it because it's going to cost to make that bio coal too, you know. So that, it's, it's a legislative legislative issue too as to where the money's going to come from. Yeah, the cost of electricity is completely arbitrary. Whatever we want it to be, and you know, you have countries like. Canada or even Iran subsidize electricity and make it artificially low. You have some countries, uh, say in Europe, tax oil to make it artificially high. We can make it whatever we like. And that, that's one of the beauties of this proposal is it's going directly to the population to make a decision about the type of energy they want. Well, subsidies, somebody has to pay for the subsidies, right? So we pay for the subsidies. So however you call it, it's going to cost, whether it is direct or indirect. So, did you look at the um, OPA resop program, which is generating a, on the path to about 50,000 jobs, which is a feed-in tariff? Compare that against the um, the proposal three and how many jobs we would create if there was a feed-in type tariff plan versus just the uh, top number. That's a brilliant idea. Well, there was a proposed bill for a feed-in tariff in Michigan. This would essentially be a long-term contract for a guaranteed rate for renewable energy generators to feed in to the grid, which is in a couple of provinces in Canada, common in Europe, and um, it didn't pass, So, uh, but it's it's been considered. I'm wondering um, which form of renewable energy would be chosen if Proposition 3 passes. We think there's a lot of different options, and um, how will it be selected? The utilities, uh, well, the utilities will ha have to uh, fulfill the, the portfolio standard. They, so they will have to uh, make sure that they get the uh, energy to sell to you. 25% of it needs to come from renewable. What they will do, I'm suspecting, uh, because this uh, proposal doesn't say what it would, has to be. Uh, it will be up to the utility to look at hydro, solar, uh, biomass, or wind, and figure out uh, how they can uh, best make uh, the money that they need to, to and get you that 25%. So, that, that's one of the arguments for a, re, for a renew, renewable portfolio standard is that it's uh, more market driven than a feed in tariff. Uh, that's the theory. I don't know. What, I haven't looked to see how it happened. works in practice. You know. Well, I think there's a default assumption that wind would take the lion's share of it, but as you see with the panel, there's friendly. Uh, disagreement about what the most cost competitive options are and uh, Professor Bowman's exactly right it would be up to the utility to choose and you can look at their existing patterns or decisions under the existing portfolio uh, standard mostly uh, downstate but the program would allow if a utility has uh, territory in some neighboring states as UFCO does they could cite some facilities and count them in those contiguous uh, areas, but you know, so it's really up to them and would presumably be the most cost-effective option. Yes. 